Because there's a risk of catching COVID when responding to an overdose, it is important to take precautions. Put on gloves. Which is provided in your THN kit. It is very important. And if you have any, put on whatever personal protective equipment you have. If, you have, if you're comfortable giving breaths, you can use the CPR contact barrier provided, which is also in your THN kit. It is a one-way valve that protects you from the other person's droplets. If you're not comfortable giving breaths, give naloxone early, two doses of, if necessary. We will now demonstrate how to respond to an opioid overdose during COVID while taking precautions to protect yourself. Hey man, are you all right? Hey. Call 911 if no response. The Good Samaritan Drug Overdose Act protects you from arrest for simple possession, which means carrying illegal drugs for personal use only. Tilting the patient's head back and opening their jaw, check airway for obstructions. The best person to give breast would be a partner or a housemate who already has close contact with the person who is overdosing. If you don't feel comfortable giving breast, give naloxone now. Two doses if necessary. We will now demonstrate how to give breasts using the CPR face shield. The current risk for COVID is very low, but risk of brain injury for the person who does not get oxygen is high. Tilting the patient's head back and opening their jaw, check airway for obstructions and apply the CPR barrier over the person's face, ensuring the oval valve is inserted into their mouth. This is to avoid closing from biting down by patient, ensuring airway continuous access. Pinch the nostrils closed Ensure the head is still tilted back and give the breath through the valve, one breath every five seconds. Checking for breathing, if they are taking less than one breath every five seconds, give naloxone. Continue to provide rescue breathing and naloxone until help arrives. Chest compressions may be needed if the person has no pulse or not breathing or only gasping. To check a pulse, place two fingers in the person's neck or in the person's wrist on the thumb side for 10 seconds. If you can't feel a pulse, in 10 seconds, start compressions. To protect yourself from droplets when giving compressions, place a towel or a piece of clothing over the person's mouth and nose. Remember to put the person in a recovery position if you need to leave them alone at any time during the overdose response, even after normal breathing has returned. This is to make sure that the airway stays open. We will demonstrate how to put someone in the recovery position in a separate video. After responding to an overdose, discard the CPR face shield, the barrier, and the naloxone kit. Grasp palm area of one gloved hand and pull off glove. Slide your fingers under your glove at the wrist and pull it off. Discard in the garbage. What are the benefits of using a CPR face shield when providing breaths? A. It has a one-way valve that can protect you from the other person's droplets. B. It ensures that any bodily fluids are not transferred to the rescuer. C. It can easily be used by one rescuer alone. Or D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. That is why it is important to use CPR face shield whenever you are providing breaths.